China's newest mega bridge is open to the public. The 55 km sea crossing connects the special administrative regions of Hong Kong and Macau to the city of Zhuhai in mainland China. And we are among the first to make the journey across the bridge. I've just passed the Hong Kong border at, on Lantau and we are heading to Macau and Zhuhai. I was told that it would take around 45 minutes to get there and let's see actually how it takes. Let's go! To get onto the bridge from the Hong Kong side, we first have to drive a 12km link road. Then we have to go through a 6.7km undersea tunnel. The offshore bridge section is 229 kilometers and passes through mainland China and Macau. But not everyone is allowed to drive it. Drivers of private vehicles going to Zhuhai need to have a mainland Chinese driver's license. The rules of the road are also different in mainland China. People in Hong Kong and Macau drive on the left-hand side, but in mainland China, they drive on the right. For drivers from Hong Kong taking the bridge to Macau, they need to have a special permit to drive inside the territory. Otherwise, they have to be registered to leave their cars in a multi-storey parking lot and take another car, taxi or bus into the popular areas of Macau. Koh Tai, for example, is about 8 kilometres from the checkpoint. We are now in Zhuhai and the journey across the bridge took about an hour. It is roughly the same distance to Macau. But without any proper permits, you are not going to be able to go any further than the checkpoints. There is a lot of excitement surrounding Mega Bridge, which is undeniably a major engineering achievement. But with established modes of transport such as ferries and even helicopters from Hong Kong to Macau and Zhuhai, the number of people that would jump through the hoops needed to use the bridge may be less than expected. <laughs> 